Let's say we're asked to simplify the expression the quantity 4x cubed y times 5x to the fourth y squared raised to the third power, and we're asked to express our answer with only positive exponents. We start working from the inside out, and the easiest thing to do to start solving this problem is to rearrange it so that all the like terms are together meaning we can rewrite the 4 and the 5 at the beginning because they will be multiplied together. We can multiply and write the x's together, so we have x cubed times x to the fourth, and y's together, y times y squared. The power on the outside stays there. This step is not necessary, although as you're learning this topic, it might be beneficial to write these things in groups until you get enough practice. Now at this stage, we can start combining the terms that can be combined using certain properties. So 4 times 5 will give us 20. For the middle terms, x's, because we're multiplying and the bases are same, we add the exponents. 3 plus 4 will give us 7. Similarly here, the bases are same and we're multiplying, so we add the exponents. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. Now at this stage, nothing on the inside can be multiplied further. It is as simple as it gets, or it is as simplified as it could be. At this stage, we can use the product to a power rule, which states that if you have products here and here, which we do, and we have a power raised on the outside, we can apply that power to each of these three terms individually. This allows us to rewrite the problem as 20 to the third power, times x to the seventh raised to the third power, and then y cubed raised to the third power, as you see here. Now 20 to the third is 8,000. 20 times 20 times 20, we can use a machine to figure this out. For x to the seventh raised to the third, we recognize that we have a power raised to another power, and we always resolve those by multiplying the two powers. So x to the 7th raised to the 3rd will be x to the 21. 7 times 3 is 21. And here, similarly, y cubed raised to the 3rd will be y to the 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, the question did ask us to leave our answer with positive exponents. All the exponents in the answer here are positive, so the question is over.